Hello, today we will take a look at how we can find out what's going on in your network and how to stream the captured packets to your computer with the RouterOS Packet Sniffer feature. The Packet Sniffer can be used to capture and analyze packets that are going to, leaving, or going through the router. Or in other words, you can capture packets for input, output, and forward chains. This can be useful for when RouterOS logging doesn't provide you with enough information for a pro problem you are investigating. It can also be used as a great learning tool for understanding networking. All right, let's see how to use it. First, we go to Tools, open up Packet Sniffer. Uh, here we have General tab, which we can use to save the packet captures on our device locally. We will just need to specify the file name. And we can adjust the file limits if we wish, wish to do so. But in this case, we will just use Streaming. To enable streaming, we open up a streaming tab, press streaming enabled, press filter stream, and you just have to specify the IP address of your streaming server. In this case, this is the IP address of my laptop running Wireshark. Uh, you can also specify the port that uh, your streaming server is listening on. In this case, it's uh, this port. Now, we have everything set up for streaming and packet capture, but uh, in this case, and in the most cases, you probably want to specify on which inter interfaces you want to capture the, the data on, the packets, and the directions or protocols you're interested in. In this case, I will put on Ethernet 5, direction any, but you can also choose to receive or just to transmit that data. And uh, you can also specify protocols like uh, UDP, then we can specify port 53, for example, for DNS or we can just capture ISMP data if we want to. Or we can even uh, capture MAC protocols, uh, like ARP, VLANs, and others. All right, so we have streaming set up here. We are capturing on Ether 5, ISMP protocol, direction any, and press apply. Now it's configured. We can start capturing, start the ping, we open up our Wireshark server, open up the adapter, and we see a bunch of mess here. But if we specify that we only want to capture UDP port this, now it's a whole lot cleaner, because now we are filtering only the stream that's being sent to us, instead of uh, Windbox session and the communication between the PC and the MicroTik device itself. And that's it. These are the basics, but we still have some tips left for you. Always remember that if the router is forwarding traffic, then there are two places to see the traffic, on the incoming inf interface and on outgoing interfaces. So be careful where you sniff traffic. Perhaps you receive it and do not deliver it. And if that's the case, then you now know that the problem is on the router. Think about uh, what packets you are interested in and what direction you are interested in. For example, if you want to see if your device is receiving and responding to DHCP requests, sniffing all interfaces on the device could cause more confusion. Run packet captures only on interfaces and direction you are interested in. If sniffing only interface doesn't help, you can also run a packet capture on the VLAN, PPPoE interface and others, if needed. If broad captures don't help, compare them with more specific ones. When packets are going through hardware offloaded port, the sniffer won't see them. Remember, hardware offloaded traffic cannot be captured. You can do further packet filtration in Wireshark. You can also use firewall mangle to sniff traffic. Just use action sniff tzsp to send packet to a remote streaming server. It works in the same way as sniffer. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to see more tips like these.